As a former hockey player, I talk a lot about how sports is really similar to how you run businesses. And what I've learned is the more reps you can do, the more practice, the more times you do something over and over again, the better results you're gonna get out of your performance. Now the same goes with business. You can't just start a business and expect a ton of clients to come in and start hiring you. You need to get your name out there. You need to build your audience. You need to build trust. You need to post consistently. You need to get your name out there and do the reps to build your business online. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And over the last eight years, I've been helping businesses grow online using sales funnels and systems. Today, I want to share a case study of a startup I started working with last year. They were brand new. They were limited on budget, but they wanted to grow fast. So what we did was we set them up with a system, a sales funnel. That's what I talk a lot about. Is a sales funnel something that they can follow? One year later, they just did $235,000 last month in just 12 months. Now, if you're a business or nonprofit and you want to grow, my four-step process to show you this case study right here is going to help you not only save time, but save money and grow your business by repping out your consistent business plans on a consistent basis. Social media posts, blogging, videos, making sure your website's up to date, making sure you're sending consistent emails. That's what this business did and they were able to see results. So are you doing the reps to get your name out there online? Let's get started. All right, step one was we created a strategic sales funnel for them. Now these are really complicated. I don't expect you to learn this, make this and build this, right? I actually have sales funnels on our website and you can just go grab and see them as an example. What we wanna do is build a sales funnel for your team to follow. It's like a blueprint, right? It's like having that playbook before the game. That's you know something to go back to, to reference. All right, this is our website, this is our landing page, these are our emails, this is what we do on social media, this is what we do for videos and you and your team need to follow this. You're small, you need to follow it. If you have a team, everyone needs to follow it. Create the blueprint, build your house, build your business on a strong foundation. That way you can stay consistent and do the same thing over and over and get those reps in. And that's what we did for this new startup. We, I built a sales funnel for them. It was very customized. It went all the way from the marketing where their ideal audience is, Facebook, Twitter, Google, to the landing page and website how people were going to sign up, like a webinar, a lead magnet, a free download, to the follow-up emails, the automated emails that we send them, to the even the copywriting, the videos we show, and how we retarget people online. So I want you to think about that for your business. Do you have a system in place? Do you have something to consistently follow daily, weekly, and monthly? Do you continue pushing out those that content, doing the reps over and over so people don't forget about you? It's really key to have that system in place and feel free to grab one of my playbooks and just follow that. That way you don't forget to do it, right? You always have that playbook to follow. Step two, this is what we do at Automation Links. We build you out a virtual team, a team for less than $500 to run all of your marketing. We already know you're busy running your business. You're working with clients, you've got operations, you've got future planning, you've got past things you're working on. You're really focused on what you're good at. So what we want to do is build a strategic team to do everything else for you. Something where people do the work for you, the task, the daily task for you, and make sure that they get them done. So what we did for this client was we built them a small virtual team, a team of four people. And the, and the people were somebody to manage their website, somebody to edit the pages, do the landing pages, somebody they could send an email to and say, hey, we need this done. They go in, do it for them, and it get done. Let's say you have events or blogs. They go in there and get that stuff done. The second person we set up for them was a content manager. This is somebody that consistently posted blogs, posted uh, images on social media, somebody to manage all of their content. Next person we hired was a video editor, somebody to come in and edit their video so that their YouTube channel was continuing to grow and they were continuing to post things online webinars, different things like that. And then the last person was a social media manager. This is somebody that posted every single day for them for the last 12 months on social media. Now you can hire virtual assistants and say, Hey, go do this, go do that. You know, but the, 
worst thing is if you just tell them to go do it without giving them a plan. A lot of times virtual assistants, they don't have a plan to follow. So you are not going to be happy with the quality of work because you did not give them the proper steps to provide quality of work. They don't own your business. They're not in your business every day. They don't thought they don't know what to follow, what to say. So what we did with these four virtual assistants was we created these playbooks for them. And we said, this is what works best for this business. We want you to follow this. Now, the virtual assistants, they take the playbook and they follow it. And what that happens is they produce high quality blogs. They produce high quality social media images. Their copywriting is on point. Their emails that they send out are exactly the same messaging as we taught them in the playbook. So whatever you have now, we can gather that, put it in a playbook and have this small team of assistants follow that on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. So you keep pushing out those reps and keep growing your audience. All right, step number three, we created the marketing system next. So now they have their website, their landing pages, their virtual assistant team. Now we need to start getting them some results. So we also set them up with an advertising uh, freelancer. This is somebody that was started to run their Google, their Facebook, all their Instagram, everything for ads to get that content out there and to do all the remarketing and the retargeting. So what happened was they have their blogs, they have their social media posts, and then we set them up with the advertiser. If you haven't run ads before, you know, it could seem overwhelming. You think you have to spend a lot of money. Well, this client only started off spending $500 a month to get thousands and thousands of dollars in sales because we did it right. We already had a proven method. We had the blog posts, we had the videos, and we had the social media posts. And what we could say is these are the posts that did well. These are the ones that didn't. This is the blog that well, did well. This is the one that didn't. This is the video that did well. And this is the video that didn't do well. Now the advertiser has the ammo. They have the strategic plan of what works and what doesn't work. So now they can take everything that worked organically. They can turn that into an ad and just double, triple and quadruple the business. So now when somebody comes in from Google, he already knows the right keywords, what keywords people were typing in to find the website. When somebody sees them on social media, that he already knew what images and video to work to use to get somebody new to come into the business and signed up on the landing page and then retargeting. He already knew what to post and write on the retargeting to get people to come back and actually buy. So you can start small, start with a small team, start with a small budget, start building your way up like building blocks. So then in a year from now, just like this client, they were able to do $235,000 in sales. They had over 50,000 website visitors and their business continues to double month over month because they have that proper system in place, the right team in place, and they're pumping out those reps every single day. Now, I really hope this video encouraged you guys. We do a webinar every month where I teach you this and I break down our four simple steps just like this on how you can automate your business. I want you to be just like this case study. We posted it on our website. If you want to learn more, automationlinks.com. The case study is outstanding. It gives you a good point of reference of somebody maybe just like you, and they started being consistent. They started investing a little bit, and that's our key. You have to spend a little bit to grow your business. And the goal is to get that assistant, virtual assistant team for under $500. So then you can continue to grow and scale because that system and team is in place. And that's what we do. We build you that virtual assistant team. We train them. We give them the playbooks that we've already built. We teach them how to run your business for you so you can keep focusing on what you're good at and what you're busy doing while these virtual assistants are doing all the small tasks to continue busting out those reps. So if you guys want any more information, send me a message. I'm sure the link for the webinar is going to be below this video. And I want you to be just like them, right? Let's start small, work your way up, build that small team, and let's get you better results online. Thanks again for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please leave a comment new so I can send you the uh, one of our playbooks so you can see how that works. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.